I'm John McDonald. I'm an editor and trainer in academia for Editage. At Editage, we often receive questions from authors seeking our advice on how to check for plagiarism before submitting a paper for publication. Most often, the papers of these authors have either been rejected or returned with a request for major revisions on account of having 20% or more of plagiarized content. Many times, it's because non-English speaking authors have difficulty paraphrasing or summarizing scientific literature into their own words. Paraphrasing is rewriting content from the source material into your own words. This video will provide you with some tips on how to paraphrase English text effectively so as to avoid unintentional plagiarism. First of all, read and reread the source material a few times until you clearly understand what it says. As you read, you can then jot down key points as words or phrases, not as complete sentences. Next, put away the source material and try to write down whatever you've understood from it. At this point, you still might be using words from the source material as that is fresh in your mind. Now, consult the source material and reword your writing wherever you feel there is a marked similarity with the source material. You might face some difficulty in rewording in such a way that your writing is completely different from the original text. These strategies will help you overcome this hurdle. Number one, use different vocabulary with the same meaning. For example, in the original text, it can be difficult for a non-native speaker of English to paraphrase English text by himself. As a paraphrase, it can be challenging for a person for whom English is a foreign language to reword English text without any help. Number two, you can change the order of the words. Using the example that we've already paraphrased, the original is, it can be challenging for a person for whom English is a foreign language to reword English text without any help. The paraphrase then becomes, rewording English text without any help can be challenging for a person for whom English is a foreign language. We've flipped the text. Point number three, you can use different grammar. For example, you could change some of the words in the original sentence into different parts of speech. Say if you use a verb form instead of an adjective, or a plural construction instead of singular, or an active voice in place of the passive. Then the entire construction of the sentence will change. For example, we're now at the point. It can be challenging for a person for whom English is a foreign language to reword English text without any help. By following these examples, the new paraphrase becomes, rewording English text without any help can be a challenge for people whose first language is not English. I hope you find these suggestions useful. 